many patients, many women with epilepsy approach us with uh, serious concerns about what will happen to their baby. And uh, they might have read something or heard something from colleagues or friends and uh, they are very upset when they realize that uh, epilepsy and anti-epileptic drugs can cause malformation and is it going to happen to my child. And uh, the first sentence that I would like to reassure them is that uh, whatever be the situation, almost 90% of women with epilepsy will have safe pregnancy and healthy women the children. Uh, so that's only we are talking about about 10% cases where there can be a problem. Even without any medications, even normal people may have 2 to 3% risk of a birth defect in a child. And this may increase to 7 or 10% depending on the type of medicines that we are using, how many medicines we are using and what dosage we are using and so on. So we can customize and give an individualized risk uh, to each person and uh, this is quite reassuring to them. And we also tell them that a proper preparation and uh, planning of pregnancy ahead and uh, making the treatment safer for the mother and for the child will be the most appropriate thing. Uh, the first thing we see is uh, whether this person has epilepsy and uh, what is the need for continuing anti-epileptic drugs. Some women who had epilepsy may be in remission and they may not need an anti-epileptic drug at that point of time and it could be stopped. Nobody would have uh, thought about that but this may be an opportunity. So to assess the need for continuation of treatment. Nevertheless, uh, most women with pregnant epilepsy may have to continue anti-epileptic drugs uh, even when they are planning pregnancy and throughout pregnancy. In that case, we have to decide what type of epilepsy they have and what would be the most uh, appropriate medicine to control the epilepsy for her. Uh, among the different anti-epileptic drugs, uh, sodium valproate is one drug which is associated with a higher risk. And this is one medicine which we may want to avoid in uh, pregnancy. So we will see whether there is a need. If this person is already on valproate, whether we need to continue it. Is there an alternate, safe, effective option like lamotrigine or levetiracetam? And we discuss this with the patient and the options to change and the potential risk of seizure ag aggravation and the benefits out that might come out of it. And we also start all women on folic acid which is uh, known to reduce the risk of malformations.